We keep track of time almost every day in our lives, whether it is our sleep, pleasure, work, school, and even our dreadful deadlines. But have you ever wondered how time was counted in the past? The earliest timekeeping devices relied on the sun. The first sundials were simply sticks to place in the ground that showed time by length and direction of the resulting shadow. In 1500 BC, Egyptians made a more advanced sundial, a T-shaped bar placed in the ground, dividing between sunrise and sunset into 12 parts. These 12 parts came about based on the Egyptians' use of the duodecimal system, with a base of 12. 12 because it equals the number of finger joints on each hand. Using the term to count each finger joint, we have 3 times 4, equaling to 12 for one hand. The water clock was invented soon after the dial by an Egyptian pharaoh in 1400 BC. It was perhaps the most accurate timekeeping device of the ancient world. In fact, Plato, the legendary Greek philosopher, created the alarm clock through the use of the water clock. As water filled up the reservoir, it blew a whistle that disturbed his awesome sleep. Later, in 500, the candle clock was invented. This candle has evenly spaced markings on it, which indicates the duration of time that has passed since it was first lit. King Alfred the Great, in the 9th century, used this system with 6 candles. Each was 12 inches high and could burn up to 4 hours, lasting a total of 24 hours. Then, the mechanical clocks arrived. The first clock was built in the 11th century by Pope Sylvester II. Galileo Galilei, father of science, experimented the pendulum, which was a way of marking off small intervals of time accurately. It took 50 years for a pendulum clock to be built, resulting in a massive leap in the evolution of timekeeping devices. Towards the 19th to 20th century, world wars started to occur. Wristwatches were first worn by military men towards the end of the 19th century when there was an importance of synchronizing wartime actions without potentially revealing the plan to enemies. To make these devices more accurate, quartz watches were then invented in 1927. Quartz crystals, together with its piezoelectrical ability, made them the most accurate timekeeping devices in the 1930s. Its accuracy is within a few seconds per year. Nearly 40 years later, the first atomic clock was built, creating a new time standard. The cesium element was used to measure time. One second represented 9,192,631,770 oscillations of cesium atoms' resonant frequency, making these clocks extremely accurate within a second over many thousands of years. With advanced technology nowadays, time can be tracked on our mobile phones, computers, and smartwatches, which synchronizes time to cell signal or the internet. Why do our devices still have slightly different times? It's because servers use different versions of atomic clocks and timekeeping devices. Thus, there is no one standardized source of time in the world currently. So how should we go on from here?